Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Quiet. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 64, minimum path sum. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now, let's dive into the solution. So, here I have taken the first example from the leak code website. So, we are given a n cross n grid. It is a 2D array, right? We need to find the path which has the minimum sum from top left to bottom right, right? There are a lot of paths here, right? There is a path from here. This is one path. And there is also a path from here, right? These are all paths to reach the bottom right from top left. We need to find the minimum path by adding all the values from top left to bottom right. And we can only move down and right right we can only move in two directions so we are going to use dynamic programming approach right so initially i'm going to compute the cost in the first column so i'm going to start from the first index right so what i will do is i will add previous value that is one to this one Right? I will get 2, I will place the 2 in the current ith pointer, that is in the first index. Right? Then I will move my i pointer to the second index. So I will start from the first index only. Right? So I will add 2 and 4 and I will place 6 in the current pointer, current i pointer. Right? Now I am done with the first column. Now I will do the same for the first row. I will start from the first index. I will sum 1 and 3. I will place 4 in the ith pointer. Right? Now I will move my i pointer. Now I will add 4 and 1. I will place 5 in the current i pointer. Right? Now I will write 2 for loops where I will start from index 1 and 1, right? So I'm going to start from 5 here. The reason why I'm starting from 5 is I'm excluding the first row and the first column. We have already computed that, right? So we are excluding that. So now what I will do is I will take the top value of that current value. That is, we are going to start from 1, 1, that is 5. I'm going to take the top value and the left value of the current value. Right? I'm going to take minimum between 2 and 4 here. That is the left and top value of the current value 5. So, 2 is the minimum, right? So, I will add 2 to the current value 5. I will place 7 in place of 5, right? That is the 1 comma 1 index. Basically, left and top of that particular value is computed using the i minus 1 and jth index and ith index and j minus 1, right? And I will take minimum between those two values, that is 2, 1, 4 in this case, so I will add 2 to the current value which was 5 and now it become 7. Now I will move my j pointer. I'm going to continue in the same row, right? So now my j pointer becomes 2 here. So now I will pick the left and top of the current value 1. So we have 7 and 5, right? We are going to take minimum between these two values that is 5. I will add 5 to the current value. That is 1, right? So now it becomes 6. I will place 6 in the first row and second column. That is the current index we are in, right? So now we are done with the row. Now I will start from here. That is, I will be 2 now and J will be 1 now. That is the second row and first column. So we are currently here now. I'm going to take 
top value that is 7 and left value that is 6 I will take minimum between these two values that is I'm going to get 6 I'm going to add 6 to the current value 2 right now it becomes 8 then I'm going to move my J pointer to the next column right so currently we are here at the value 1 now I will take the top and left value of the current value right that is 6 and 8 I will take minimum between 6 and 8 I'm going to get 6 right I will add 6 to the current value that is 1 I will get 7 here right finally I will return this value this will be my minimum path sum that's all the problem is so the time complexity will be order of m into n since we are iterating through all the rows and columns and the space complexity is order of 1 since we are modifying the values within the grid right that's all the problem is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i'm going to have my m and n that is the length of my row and the length of my column right then i'm going to add all the values in the first column right i'm going to sum the cost in the first column right that I'm going to add the current cost and the previous cost previous value right I am minus one the zero indicates that it's the first column right then we are going to do the same thing for the first row right so we are going to start from first value and we are going to add that value to the previous value i minus one right then i'm going to write two for loops where i'm going to exclude the first row and the first column i'm going to start from the one comma one value right that's what I'm writing here. Then I'm going to take the current value and I'm going to add the minimum between left and top of that current value, right? That is what I'm computing here. That is the i minus one and j index and i and j minus one index value, right? This will give me the left and top of that current value. Then finally, I will return the last value in the grid, right? That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. So the time complexity, as I previously said, it is order of m into n and space is constant space since we are not using any extra space since we are modifying the values itself, right? Thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys